Waterbury doesn't just belong in our yeshiva, in my opinion. The fundamentals of the yeshiva, the love for the Talmudim, the care for the Talmudim, the respect for the Talmudim, the respect for every Jew, belongs in every single yeshiva, belongs in every single home. We're so fortunate in yeshiva to have a leader like Rabbi Shadun, to have somebody here, a Rebbe here, who has such a clarity of thought and such a courage to do what's right and to do what's true. One of the greatest gifts of being part of this beautiful yeshiva is learning to see and appreciate the greatness of every single person. I have seen Bachrim come from all types of challenges and struggles and rise to be the biggest masmidim, not only biggest masmidim in this yeshiva, but would be considered from the biggest masmidim in the country. I hear many times from the boys in Eretz Yisrael, from boys in other yeshivas in America, that they, they're learning his farim, Eilam Amidas, Eilam Avoida, um, the English Sefer, about covered. It's amazing, there's a movement. Most of my material, especially the chinuf material, comes from what I learn in yeshiva. I consider myself not only a Rebbe in Yeshiva, but I consider myself a Talmud of the Yeshiva. And I feel very lucky that I'm able to spread Waterbury to the rest of the world. His approach to Chinuch is really the way you would think about Chinuch if you weren't afraid of what everyone would say about you. I think parents and Mechanchim are realizing that we need to do something a little different and be a lot closer to our Talmidim and a lot closer to our children if we're going to be able to carry them through these challenging times. When you look at children, when you look at Talmidim, when you look at people, so nobody's perfect. So you could either look at the negatives or you could look at the positives. You could either say, well, this guy wakes up late and his IQ is like 110 and um, he has a hard time understanding Gemara Baru Basra. And you could say, I don't want him in my yeshiva. And he's a loser and give up on him. Or you could do like Rabbi Kaufman does, and Rabbi Kassenbaum, they could say, well, he doesn't wake up at 7.30, but by 8.15 he's out of bed. And he davens very nicely. And he's very firm. And he can't learn Baba Basra yet, but um, he learns sukkah very well. And he takes an interest in Gemara Brachas. And through Gemara Brachas and through Gemara Sukkah, I'm going to get him to learn and understand Gemara Baba Basra because they care about the Talmidim, and they care about Torah, and that's why they're successful. It raises the level in the yeshiva when we have such a, a tzaddik and a masmid on the staff. Right, Kestenbaum is such a stalwart, such a strength for our yeshiva and our community, a strength of truth, a strength of idealism. i like to thank the parents of my Talmidim who share their children with us in yeshiva. i like to thank my parents, my in-laws, and my entire family for the incredible support through all the years. And lastly, of course, thank my wife for everything she does for myself and my family. She's the one who deserves this honor. And may we continue to see so much nachas from our precious children and Talmidim.